how your arms swing in relation to your body has an impact on your efficiency and can reduce your likelihood of getting neck and shoulder pain on longer runs. Ideally, your knuckles brush past the belt line and your hands don't cross towards your belly button. If your hands do cross, your torso rotates unnecessarily. If your swing is tight and restricted, you're more likely to get neck and shoulder pain. Some key points to remember are to pull the shoulders back and down, drive the elbows out the back, and keep your arms swinging parallel.